Hey guys, it's me Aspen from Aspen and Awesome Life, and today I'm going to be helping my family make a loft bed. And me, you know, my me and my brother share a room, but me and my parents found a way to um, not have to share a room by making loft beds, and under it, it's going to be our rooms. So yeah, bye guys. Okay, so we made a loft bed, and we wanted to see how you know how much we could get for our money so the first thing I did was uh, I bought some lumber I took two by fours and I put them in an L shape a capital L shape and then I nailed them together I used an air nailer but you can use the hammer and nails like the kids did um, then after that you'll see that they're about 105 inches tall and 74 inches was how tall I wanted the bed to be so I could walk under it um, so you can vary your cuts obviously on what fits in your room and your area so after we got all that loaded together then we put the bed frame together we had the two 79 inch sides that are the long edge of the bed and then in between those we put the um, smaller sides the smaller pieces and we cut those out of a 12 foot piece uh, then we nailed those together and screwed them together and we made sure everything was nice and square uh, we used our carpenter's square and then we nailed on to the bottom and I, you'll see I'm doing it on the top here but uh, well you can flip it over interchangeably but it's a two by two and this is just so we can hold the slats into the bed so uh, I nailed it on there's four of those slats and we just put those in there nailed them in uh, pretty securely and actually later I ended up screwing uh, those to the bed too with 90 degree angles attached to them and I'll show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about there uh, in a second so then after we had that we put our uh, center in there that's just gonna go down the center of the bed frames and I just had it flush with the outside edge and that's just something so that the slats uh, can rest on in the middle then I stood them up and I screwed in the height that I wanted the bed frame to be I screwed in a 74 inch piece right in there because I wanted them to be 74 inches tall um, and then we can put that the whole bed frame will rest right on those pieces at the right height and you're probably going to need more than one person to do this so you can get it all squared up at the same time because see we we did a lot of you know just kind of looking and uh figuring out making sure that we had it right and we got our levels out and made sure it was level um but then we put took the bed frame and we put it up there on top of it and once we got this bed frame up then I went ahead and screwed it in uh, with using just regular screws um, I also took a drill on the long end and I drilled through the leg and through the long side that rests on the 74 inch piece and then I put uh, bolts through there and nuts to make sure that they held the bed to the frame you know more securely and that was basically it uh, we did the whole thing for a hundred dollars or less than a hundred dollars it's a really nice bed for the kids they like it it cleared out you know enough space underneath we actually did two beds uh, so we had one going one way and one making kind of an L shape um, and when Aspen first said that she wanted a loft bed I was curious to what she was talking about and I kinda I know bunk beds that's what they had in their room to begin with so I was said I went and looked online and I got a little inspiration and I ended up building plans myself so I'm going to share those with you now and I'm going to tell you how much I made and I made this whole loft bed for only $100 less than $100 really um, so what I did was I took 
eight two by fours that they're the size that you want your bed to be um they just got to be shorter than your ceiling our ceilings were 10 foot tall so we were able to get 805 inch ones uh that was 20 dollars. then we got two two by fours that we cut uh into four different pieces that actually hold the bed frame that was another ten dollars so that was twenty nine dollars and seventy two cents then with the frame we just got two two by six by twelves and each of those were cut into a 79 inch piece and a 55 inch piece and so one was the long end of the bed and one was the short end of the bed um, they're 54 by 75 is the full mattress size so we just added a little uh, leeway in there and another inch uh, in the 79 inch section is because when you put two two by fours that are an inch and a half each that adds another three inches uh, when those are wedged in the middle so with that being said then we also had um, to grab a two by four cut 76 inches to run down the center of the bed frame that was to rest the slats on we had a two by four by ten um, that we got and cut into six different sections um, we got three of those and we cut it into six 55 inch sections for the actual slats themselves we got two two by twos which was about three dollars and fifty cents um, cut 76 inches long and they ran along the bottom of the long side of the bed frame and the plywood was like fifteen dollars so that was forty four dollars for the frame uh, all the fasteners we got wood screws some framing angles uh, the framing angles I used to hold the slats so it's kind of overkill but you know wanted to do it right um, got four 90 degree angles that were bigger to anchor the bed to the floor because I just wanted to make sure that I had them I screwed them into the legs of the bed and then into the floor just for a little extra uh, security and peace of mind uh, and then I bought eight three-eighth by four inch bolts and eight, uh, eight and three-eighth eight three-eighth nuts uh, those were about four dollars for the bolts and a dollar for the nuts so that was twenty three dollars so in total we spent ninety six dollars and ninety seven cents to make this entire bed um, I think it's a pretty good deal and um, you know and I will put I'll put a full list of everything in the descriptions and uh, also a ladder was not included in that price uh, the ladder I just used to uh, two by fours uh, mainly because they were I just had them around uh, I probably would have used two by sixes or two by eights if we were really you know if I had kids that were bigger and uh, I needed more security uh, these seem to work fine I got two the two of them are two dollars and thirty nine cents so about five dollars for that and then I cut a 2x4 that was 105 inches long into 7 14 inch sections and put it together. Just cut little angles so it leans against the bed. And the ladder was another $7 to the cost. 